Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei, and today guys, you're gonna see pretty much nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is my green bottle blue, my chromatopelma, cyanopubescence, and I'm actually pretty much putting this project on hold, or I'm basically giving up on this project for now. And the reason why is because this male, guys, is driving me nuts. So over the span of two weeks, I have gotten nothing but hours of nothing. Yeah, so I'm giving this mail away to somebody close, which that person may put use to this mail better than I can. So yeah, so what you're seeing in this video is pretty much two weeks of nothing. So I hope you don't mind that, and uh, I'm going to be talking about some serious topics today. So hang on tight and hear me out. So the first topic I really want to talk about is one that everybody's been asking me. Do I sell tarantulas and am I a tarantula business? And the answer to that is yes and no. So allow me to clarify. So when it comes to selling tarantulas, I do sell tarantulas, but I am the middleman. And what that basically means is that I sell wholesale to pretty much other tarantula businesses and then they sell to you guys. So essentially, those people that are selling tarantulas to you are pretty much buying from me for a lower price at a higher quantity, and that's pretty much what wholesale is. So essentially, I get the lower end of the stick. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not really good to pay to be honest. But the reason why I don't want to sell direct to consumer is because working with customers is an absolute nightmare. You will not believe how bad customers are. And I understand that customers are a priority, but at the same time, some customers are way too obligated and entitled to, you know, what they buy. So, so I don't want to deal with that because uh, I've tried before and it wasn't great. So, to wrap it up, do I sell tarantulas? Yes, but not to the customers. I sell to the other tarantula businesses and I work with them. Now, the second question I get asked pretty much all the time is, Am I a tarantula business? The answer is no, not an official one that is. And the reason why is because I believe that my stock and my quantity of what I will sell will be too low for my customers. So I am not an official tarantula business. So uh, yeah, sorry if I disappoint you guys. But that doesn't take away the fact that I am a tarantula breeder. I do breed tarantulas and yeah, I do sell to people but not to customers. I sell to other tarantula businesses. So if you made it this far, I am going to talk about the tarantula market now. So this is for anybody who's coming into tarantula breeding, because trust me, the moment you breed a tarantula, you're pretty much officially in the tarantula market. And let me tell you this, the tarantula market is by far one of the most competitive businesses there is when it comes to exotic pets. And you have to understand, Unlike ball pythons and unlike reptiles that only lay a few batches or a couple of clutches, one tarantula egg sac can have anywhere from tens to hundreds, even thousands of babies. So every time you produce a tarantula, pretty much you're saturating the market very quickly. This is why species drop in prices very quickly. One great example is the Berupis simaroxigorum. That species was $400 a sling and people bred it within a year and a half and the prices have dropped about 65 percent so now you can buy a sling for around 150 us dollars so this is not undercutting this is not no you know lowest prices and whatnot this is the tarantula market i'm going to use an example ball pythons can lay 7 to 13 eggs for example one female tarantula however can lay 50 or more babies and yeah you already have your answer there is way more specimens being born with one clutch or one egg sac than there is with any reptile there is. Unless there's a reptile that can have 100 plus babies with one, you know, one clutch or whatnot. So this is why when it comes to breeding tarantulas for new beginners, I've always tell them to stay away from the curly hair tarantulas or Tilitocotyl abulpilosis. Because the reason why is because those species can have like 300 plus babies and the market around the entire world is saturated with curly hairs. So essentially, if you're breeding them for monetary purposes, you're going to be stuck with those babies for ages. Like, it is very hard to get rid of those babies. And trust me, I've bred them and produced them before. Even now, I will not breed them unless there is somebody who's willing to take up all of the babies 
or there's a loan where if the person that loaned to me will take most of the babies away from me because I am not going to be stuck with hundreds of babies of curly hair tarantulas. But hey, nobody takes my advice, so uh, yeah, I hope you take this into consideration because I feel bad because you know, I was a person who watched so many new tarantula breeders come and go because the tarantula market is super brutal. And to be fair, if I had to be completely honest, the chances of succeeding in the tarantula business is very, very, very small. And the reason why is because there are a lot of competitors here in the United States, and a lot of them are very good, but few of them are very good at marketing. So to the best person who's good at marketing, I wish them the best. And I know I sound like I'm being mean and whatnot, but you have to understand, this is reality. And I feel like a lot of people are driven by passion, which is an actual good thing, but a lot of people are not driven by reality. And the reality of this market is that very few people will succeed long term. I'd say give it about 5 to 10 years of being in this business to know if you want to pursue this as a full time job or if this is just something you want to do on the side. For me, this is something I'm just doing on the side because I know being around this business for a while now that very few people will succeed long term if they go the entrepreneur route of trying to start a tarantula business. This is also why I don't really teach people how to do tarantula breeding, the tarantula market and whatnot, and it's because a lot of people they just quit. Like, I am so tired of trying to teach people things and then over time they just quit halfway through. So to me, when it comes to finding somebody to teach, you need to find somebody who's willing to learn and also somebody who's willing to go that route. Because a lot of people are going to quit pretty much before the journey ends. So yeah, if you're wondering why I don't really teach people too often, it's because of that. There's not enough people who are truly passionate. If you're truly passionate about something, you would be there to the very end. And a lot of people I teach, they just quit halfway through. So honestly, at this point, I don't really want to teach people stuff because they're just kind of, meh, they just want to quit, I guess. But someday, someday I'm going to find that person who's going to stick with it. I know I sound like I'm ranting, which I am kind of am, but you have to understand, I've been through so much stuff in this tarantula market and tarantula breeding that at this point, I've pretty much seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. I know a lot of tarantula YouTubers, a lot of tarantula businesses and whatnot, they paint this rainbows and sunshines, but in reality, there's a lot of backstabbing, a lot of uh, two-facing, a lot of really bad marketing, a lot of questionable choices, but I'm just going to tell you how it is. So to anyone who's going to pursue tarantula breeding and potentially enter the tarantula market as a business, my advice is to be passionate and be willing and be ambitious and also be ready to deal with all the uh the bs that comes with it because i hate to be that guy but i'm tired of seeing so many passionate people quit because of how brutal the market was and the moment that happens to most people they literally give up entirely anyone can succeed but not everyone will succeed and if you're wanting to learn from me, my advice is uh, if you're willing to stick it out to the very end, then maybe I'll teach. But to be honest, the majority of people will not. And uh, yeah, without further ado, everyone, I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. And I apologize if this sounds brutal, but this is me giving a actual advice to future tarantula breeders that are coming into the market. And I upload every single Friday. And if you like my content, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay updated to my content, and uh, check out my IG and my Twitter. And with that, stay lax, and laxo out. From the Kumo Sensei.